Hey guys, just continuing on from the last video. So the second example we're going to look at when we're considering Hooke's law and the um, comparison between stress and strain is this example two. And we've been asked to uh, find um, the magnitude of the force that's applied. And the information we've been given is that the column uh, started off with an initial length of 3.5 meters. And we've been told that it's shortened by 0.03 meters when it was loaded by some force F. And with that information, we've been asked to find what the magnitude of um, F was. So uh, practically speaking, uh, this, this problem would have a lot of um, benefits because we might be able to, um, so if we, if, we know that the, um, if we know that our material can deform by a certain length, um, we want to know um, what the maximum force is that we can apply to that material so that it won't exceed, so the deformation won't exceed that length. So that's the kind of, um, that's the kind of practical sort of uh, problem we'd be trying to solve with a question like this. Uh, we've also been given that uh, the elastic modulus of this material, so li again, likely concrete, is 40 MPa. So this elastic modulus is also called the Young's modulus. Um, and it, again, it's the ratio of stress to strain. So we go about this uh, from a similar way that we did the last question, at least at the start. We'll start off by just looking at the problem. So we have a 3.5 meter column loaded with this point, this load F, and its diameter is 200 millimeters. So we start off by drawing our free body diagram. 